Hello everybody, this is Lucy here, and we are filling the Red Mountain Pass on Highway 550. This road is essentially closed during the day because they're doing major road construction. It's just open for one hour, and we're going to do that now. So we're going up there. Excuse the shakiness of the camera. I'm kind of driving and filming one-handed, which is probably not the best of ideas, but I'm doing it. Well, Evelyn could just you know, just aim it um, and just go to hold it, and uh, we're just gonna shoot straight out the window without uh, too much talking here. No, 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 just stays forward. Closed gate for when it snows. <laughs> yeah, if you look to your right, don't go all the way right, uh, you'll see the sudden drop off. That white line is uh, that white line. Uh, you put a tire over that, that's it, you're dead. And then you have the cliffs on the other side. Go straight down to the white line on the other side. the tunnel coming up here. I tell you what, let me hold this. So 
So I'll give the camera back to Evelyn when we get to, to the serious curves. As long as we're doing like 25, it's not a problem. Or less. I'm driving the speed limit right now. It's about 15% grade here too. Look at that edge. Oh my. Look at the edge. Film the edge, please. Look how steep, straight down there. Kind of angle down to the right there. Show how far deep it goes. Angle it. Just angle it. All right, back Very to the deep. Very deep. Yeah. See the road? Yeah. See the cliff? See no shoulders, no butt, no guardrails, no nothing. <laughs> there, looking over there to your left, is the road that goes up to the Alpine Loop, which you, we're not going to do today. At least not that part. This is the only through route for like a hundred miles or more around and this is why 
it's so busy right now. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the semi, uh, the tractor trailers coming through here. Only one way through here. This is it. Very scary. <laughs> Agreed. Scary road. Actually, I'll tell you what. I've driven lots and lots of roads all through Colorado and the West. This one scares me the most, honestly. It is. Because you're going at speed over some of these rougher roads, you're going slower. They don't have the, they have the same drop-offs, but you're going so much slower, so you have time to react. Here's an avalanche shed we're gonna go through. You see it, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Aim it towards the shed, please. Mm -hmm. the scary part now we get to the dangerous part <laughs> <laughs> look at this sign on the right here the sign yeah okay all right everyone's gonna have fun trying to keep up with me going to the like this Whee! <laughs> and then another one all the way to the other way yeah, this is steep, by the way, even if the camera doesn't quite show it. You got that sign there. Yes, these are 180 degree turns. Some of them are even worse than 180. It is definitely fall up here. Yeah. Yellow. There you go. Construction here. And long. They're doing some logging too. Logging. Here's Red Mountain Lodge, what used to be a gas station, way back in maybe the 1940s and the 1950s. There's a helicopter. Oh. Can you get it? There you go, got it. Some of you are probably saying, hey, you're at the top, you're at the top of the pass. Nope, we still gotta go higher.
holding camera. Yeah, I can hold it for a little bit. Now, you see to the right there, where it's a lot higher still, that's where the actual pass, the top of the pass is. So we still got a ways to go up. We got about another four or five miles to the top, which is up there. This is Ironton, just one of those small little communities, place names, where you can uh, camp overnight with no facilities. This is also known as boondocking, as some of our family friends know. This is logging over here. They're trying to clear um, for fire danger and such. And this is, the orange is mine waste. See, this is the remains of a, a mine here. That's the room. That's an old mine up there. Serious rains here. That's all the remains of flash floods earlier in during the summertime. camera back to uh, Evelyn here because we got some serious curves at 10 miles an hour more 180 curves degree see it in the camera but there's some serious g-forces going on here this is a wine waste on the left this is uh, from the floods from the earlier the season check out this side on the right yep and if you can fan to the right here you can see them coming up down the mountain Right there, yeah. See, look at the truck. Yeah. It's literally going the other way. <laughs> okay. The suggestion speed is 10 miles an hour, and they beat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here's another one. You can see. Oops, excuse me. You can see the cars between the trees coming down. And then we're going to go. I got it.
That should give you some idea of how sharp these curves are. We came down this last night in the dark, so that was even more fun. The, the good thing is, is you could see what was going to kill you at least. <laughs> Right ahead and up, that's Red Mountain. See all of that? That's, I think it's pretty obvious why they call it Red Mountain, but uh, some of that's erosion, some of that's mining activity too. The cuts below are definitely mining activity. That, see the gray there, the crop band, that bank? That is mining. And look at these crazy houses just sitting up here, up on top. There's a better view, view of the, the mining here at Red Mountain. Yeah. And look at this, straight ahead. This is an old mining tipple. They would literally run the waste rock out this trestle and then dump it. In fact, they're still doing it. Because this is still an active claim. Take a look to your right. This is the settlement of Red Mountain. All these things take power, so you still have major power supplies up here. So there's the mining complex across the way. All right. That's an active mine. They are mining gold and silver right now. Look at the truck, semi. Look at this, see the road? We're going that way and then we're turning around and making a U-turn going up the other way here. See? Okay. See the red traffic up there? That's us. Watch this, around the curve we go. Around the curve again. Whee! A little bit of weed, a little bit of, ah, <laughs> scary. Okay. Here, let me look at 
See, there's the road below, literally. Let's try to go the other way. See them? That's the cars that we just passed, heading down, down the mountain. Okay. Here's a better view of the buying company down there, which is actively by head the piles in the front are the waste rock for the mining operation. And since we have time, since we stopped because it's a one lane road up here, I'll show you the mountain range here. Evelyn, just let me know if they start moving on me, okay? Fuck you. Just to give you an idea of scale, that's just straight up there from the edge of the uh, road here. Continue drops, steep drops there. Like way down. Now this is the reason why they are having this road closed. That is an area where the whole road has shifted away and fallen away, you know, on a landslide. So it has to be done. And they gotta do it before winter. And winter here is like eight months a year. But because they need the whole road to actually do the repair, um, that's why it's shut down for most of the day. Route 50 north of here is completely shut down 24 hours a day, except for on the weekends. So it's, with these 12 classes, you're talking about an area of like 300 square miles that you can't get from one side to the other. Look at those pinkles of those pine trees just kind of sitting on that little steep little ridge there. And now we go. It's a one lane road, so they're just going traffic by traffic. See the traffic light? That's where the, the nighttime that controls uh, the one way the roads so that no one runs head on. So, this is where they're rebuilding the road now. There's the other traffic light controlling the flow of, of, of traffic going the other way. But right now, since it's daytime, they're flagging it. All right, we are almost to the summit. And I'm sure some of you are saying filing, so are we.
So that little two mile section closes down 50 miles of highway and locks down 300 square miles of highway. So that's the down section. We will be going down there in a little bit. And I'm going to finish it up with right here with the Red Mountain Pass sign, elevation 11,000 feet, San Juan National Forest to the south, and the Animus Warrior Shed, and then Kump Frog uh, National Forest the other way to the north. And Gold Rat Oregon's first crossed here in 1878, 140 years ago. This is Denusa and Evelyn. Evelyn Ta -da. <laughs> Thank you for watching this long video. Please rate, comment, and, sus and subscribe. Bye for now. We're going to wave. Bye for now. Here's the old marker. <laughs>